Hello everyone. Welcome to Corporate Law Journal channel. In this video, we will be discussing the applicability of the Companies Act 2013. Companies Act 2013 is an extremely important act. It replaced Companies Act 1956 and acts as the cornerstone of corporate law in India. It governs various aspects of companies, their formation, functioning and compliance included. Understanding the applicability of this act is crucial for multiple stakeholders like businesses, investors, and others. There are different sections of the act which deal with applicability and exceptions. Section 1, clause 4 of the Companies Act 2013 deals with the applicability. It shall apply to six different mentioned companies. We will go through this one by one. Firstly, companies incorporated under this act or any under previous company law. As per section 2 clause 20, company means a company incorporated under this act or under any previous company law. Any previous company law as a term has been defined under section 2 clause 67. Secondly, Companies Act 2013 applies to insurance companies. These are subject to the provisions of Insurance Act 1938 or the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority Act 1999. This means that in case of any inconsistency between the Companies Act and the Insurance Acts, Companies Act will not be applicable. The insurance companies are governed by a special act and as a result, the applicability of the Companies Act is limited by the special act. Banking companies. These companies are subject to the provisions of Banking Regulation Act 1949. In case of any inconsistency between Companies Act 2013 and Banking Regulation Act 1949, the Companies Act will not be applicable. For the same reasons as Insurance Companies Act, these are governed by a special act and the applicability of Companies Act is limited. Fourthly, companies engaged in the generation of electricity or the supply of electricity are subject to the Electricity Act. In case of any inconsistency between Companies Act and Electricity Act, the Companies Act will not be applicable since Electricity Act is a special act and limits the applicability of Companies Act. Any other company governed by any special act for the time being in force, except insofar as said provision are inconsistent with the provisions of such special acts. This point is provided here for upcoming special acts that come into effect after the enactment of Companies Act 2013. Lastly, such body corporate incorporated by any act for the time being in force as the central government may be subject to such exceptions, modifications or adaptations as may be specified. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment your thoughts down below. Thank you.